Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Victorious 3 is Brazil. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we put down a few minor rebellions. Now, the people that were rebelling against us, unsurprisingly, are not happy about it. They're like, no, don't oppress me. And my God, are we oppressing? Hey, and we got religious schools. We're going to get some more education access. It does give some more power to the Catholic Church. Which I think for right now is fine. I, I, the Catholic Church seems to be a little bit more powerful for me to get some better education in the country. Then so be it. Um, and we still cannot make our government enemy better. The 45 is really the peak of our position at the moment. So let's see. Is there anything else we can... Let's see. Like, is there anything else we can get that's really just like a free win for our government? Like, who hates this? The industrials will not be happy with you. Local police force is fine. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that's just, like, flat-out popular. You know what I mean? Is there something that exists that people are just happy with? The answer is basically no. Like, I would like interventionalist. Because um, it's just better, I think, than agrarianism. But people will be a little bit too mad about that at the moment. I Okay, so pointed is still fine. You're still okay. And we're worth voting. I mean, they actually want us to go back to oligarchy. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Or maybe at all. But it does seem like there's nothing that exists right now that's like, oh, it's just like a free... A free win for our government. Something that I can do that everyone would be happy about. Like, the, the rural folk will hate this. I don't want them to be mad at me. At least not right now. They already hate me. So I, I really can't do too much regarding that. And then the landowners will hate this. It's a negative 10. Now, who gets a bonus off of this? The intelligentsia like it. The Catholic Church likes it. And the petite bourgeoisie like it. To what extent? So they go up to better loan rate. It's not that important. Intelligentsia, I think, will like no longer be hostile towards us. And he gives a birth rate bonus. Which, I mean, I can see that being okay, for sure. What about, like, a society tech? What do we have in here? Mass communications is going to give us a little bit more authority. What about the stock exchange? You know what? That, that seems like it could be useful. Gives us a little bit of uh, better trade route bonuses. I will take that for sure. And we have an election going on right now. So it looks like the moderate party. Doing very, very well. The exalted liberal party not doing as well. So this is going to be between the landowners and the armed forces. It looks like they probably will end up winning majority of the seats. And you want us to pass a, a ban on slavery. Let me just say, you know, trade unions, intelligentsia, that shit, that shit ain't happening, okay? Too many people in Brazil are reliant on the slave trade for us to really get rid of it at the moment, okay? Maybe someday in the future, we, we can think about it. You know, come back in like 1902. We might have a, a different discussion, okay? But right now, in 1838, we're riding the the slavery train to, uh, to, to, the, to the station. Whatever, whatever that even means, that's what's going on. Now, we do want to see, can I make you, maybe a Paraguay maybe a little bit as well? Seems fine. And what, what I want to do is just reduce the price on, like, iron... Very, very expensive in Rio de Janeiro. It's actually cheaper inland, which is kind of a surprise to me. Hey, we can also do a free government reform. So we can kick out the Catholic Church, the industrialists, and the petite bourgeoisie. We basically get rid of the Liberal Party. We get a little bit of a bonus just for doing only the moderates. Now, note, we will still be unacceptable. People aren't really going to be happy with this. But... I mean, it's a little bit of a bonus, so I guess we'll take it. And I still don't even think there's, like, another law we would really even want to pass, like, at the moment. I mean, this, this seems okay. Per capita taxation is definitely the best we're going to get right now. I'm kind of surprised we don't start off with just land-based taxation. Which is just fucking dog... It's dog shit. It's, it's horrible to have. Because you basically just don't make any money. But what's a, what's a private... Making uh, dye plantations. I mean, that's okay. If that's what private industry wants to do, they can build their own freaking dye factory. That's fine. Why are they building it in territory that's actively hostile to uh, to the to Brazil itself? 
I don't know. Seems like a bad investment on my part. I wouldn't I wouldn't build it there. That's just me. It looks like you're now building a vineyard. That's okay. We're building up some iron mines. I think that's going to be important for us. Um, for the obvious reason is that we don't have a lot of iron. What about our tool workshop? But very low productivity. Well, what's its productivity right now? 1.92. It's currently getting 9.5. The 19th most productive tool factory in the world. It seems kind of bad. And then you're number 8. So, I mean... Like, it's not so bad. Because you're already on iron tools. You were just, like, not that great. I mean, I do like now that if I do this, I can just exempt... The factories that won't do very well with it. That, that's nice. That's a nice uh, quality of life change. We'll upgrade level 2 on you. We'll upgrade our furniture factories as well. Textile mills, dye workshops. Nobody's happy with that. So let's just not even like worry about it at the time being. Race Center, Urban Center. We have no artillery foundations. We have no arts academies. We don't have any steel mills. We don't have a, we really don't have like a food industry. I guess not. I mean, no glass works. The food industry would probably be nice to get somewhat soon. Logging camps. Can you go to sawmills? Looks like it. I think you're fine for now. Just having a little bit of... Do you have no coal mines, really? A coal mine could be useful. You have to, like, level four. I know we're not building coal mines in Rio, in Rio Grande do Sul, which I was just saying that I wouldn't build anything there. Uh, look, I'm a hypocrite, okay? I'm I'm willing to admit it. I'm I'm willing to admit it. I'm I'm a, I'm a bit of a hypocrite in this in this regard. <laughs> and I wish you would still build a little bit faster, because you're we've like four. It's not that good, but even then, it's like it's still like so expensive, and I don't know why it's so expensive. Like, tools are too expensive, iron's still expensive. And market access in a few places are, are I mean, 80% it's not horrible. And there are a lot of people living shitty lives in Brazil at the moment. Patient finder. I want to look at... Not loyalists. Country attitude, GDP. Standard of living. I mean, it kind of looks like everywhere is kind of, I mean, if you live here, like, you're actually doing pretty well. You're still impoverished. But you're better than struggling. Also, what the hell's going on in South Dakota right now? They are fucking popping off. I mean, if, when you look at the whole world, I mean, the whole world is red. So it kind of seems like everywhere is kind of struggling. I mean, it's not, I guess it's not a huge surprise. Um, in 1839, that things, really the world over, are shitty. Kind of to be expected. Forty percent in Sao Paulo, huh? And I can't do any more decrees. I think we could do maybe a little bit of emergency release. You know what? We'll even like stop violently, violently suppressing Rio Grande do Sul in order to do what? What's next here? We got in. Gaios, which is here. We'll give you some emergency relief as well. So you can maybe uh, give you some more welfare. And that might bring your standard of living up a little bit. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll be, like, less mad at us. Hoping to gain political capital, the armed forces regions they decided to crown Pedro de Brasnia as Emperor of Brazil significantly earlier than planned. That's fine. We can have the Emperor in charge. Yes, we got our emperor. How how old are you? You are 14 years old. You're liked, which is good. You're a member of the Intelligentsia, which is a bit of a shame because they, they currently hate me at the moment. What about our journal? Decisions. Congo River. Map the American Western Frontier. Most of those probably are not going to be happening. Let's put all of you into our um, journal entries over on the side. So what do you need me to do? All the following progress bars reach 0%. Um, is below... Um, all those three. 
or the progress bar is below or equal to 50%, Emperor Pedro II is dead. Well, right now it's at 60%. The status of the progress will be determined by various positive or negative conditions. The progress bar reaching zero will lead to the end of the liberal uh, emperor's reign and the proclamation of a conservative republic. So I don't know. Do I want that to happen? I don't think I do. Not necessarily, at least. Integrating a Brazilian thing. We got 45 years till you're done. At some point, we are going to need to get nationalism. And a lot of places are going to need to be integrated, which is going to take a while, I would say. Path to liberalism. We need more um, suffrage. Any Brazilian interest group is part of government and is liberal in, in some way. I'm guessing the intelligentsia, you're probably liberal, right? Yeah, you're liberal, anti-clerical, anti-slavery, constitutionalist. They want to enact... They want me to ban slavery. Like, again, it's not happening. Like, I don't want to sound mean about it. But it's just not... We have around 57% of the population is, is, is in poverty at the moment. That's pretty fucking bad. Right? Like, that's... Depressing as hell. You're struggling. The peasants. Like, what are you paying extra money for? 8% of their income in taxes. They're paying 22% more for the base price. So I can understand that you're not happy. Rules. I mean, grain's a little... I mean, it's, not, it's 20% more expensive. It's not that much. Close at 40 I will admit it's probably a little bit high. We'll trade some clothing with the British. Um, rain. We are currently we need way more than we're, or we need more than we're, we're selling. So we need to import some of this. Get from, some from Britain. We'll get some from the Americans. Try to boost that up a little bit. It's only a negative thirty-four. Like what do we have a ton of? We've got a ton of coffee. I should be selling this off to somebody. Sell, sell coffee to the British. I don't think we need a plus 134 coffee. Now, if we could just replace all of the wheat in the world with coffee, then I think we're cooking up something. You know what I mean? Like, if we could just make bread out of coffee grounds, my god, we're going to be going to the fucking moon. Get banking... What about in production here? Better agriculture. Motor engines. Pumps for mines? I mean, that could be useful. How long would that take us? It's three years. I'm going to take it. And again, we do get this passive technology gain for the other things um, regardless, which is nice. Let's see if we can maybe, just maybe, um, improve our mining operations in Brazil a little bit. Yes, I know people are living in, in poverty at the moment, okay? Like, it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. Is it just because there's, like, a lot of slaves there? Like, the slaves shouldn't count in this, uh, in these numbers, okay? That's at least, that's my thought at the moment. Hannibal companies. Oh, there's companies now. We cannot establish any of them at the moment. But we can, we'll worry about that in the future, when, when we maybe can do it. We need you and you. Activates at 100 prosperity. 2.7 productivity. So we need a gun factory and an ammunition plant. You need 7 productivity. Activates at 100, 100 prosperity. We get 10% uh, textile mills throughput. Might It might take a while, okay? For us to reach uh, 100 prosperity. Mostly because everyone is kind of uh, having a bad time at the moment. Highlights trade routes. So, let's, so this is what we want to be importing. Import you. Import you. Import you. Import you. Iron. Import you. Tools. Again, I don't want to do anything that has a negative productivity, right? Like, I'm not mistaken that importing things with negative productivity is not actually very helpful for us. What's your problem? 
Trade road of importing iron from the Bolivian market is inactive. Why don't you just like get rid of it automatically? You ever think about that? You ever think about just deleting it automatically and I don't need to click the button? If it's not profitable, then we don't need it, okay? Coffee's getting a little bit more expensive because we are, you know, exporting it out uh, a little bit. No buy orders, no sell orders. We could maybe sell a bit of fruit. What about sugar? Let's sell... I mean, all this is terrible productivity. Like, it also causes price in uh, sugar in Brazil to skyrocket. And that seems bad. Like, it, it seems absolutely fucking horrible. Let's do some emergency, emergency relief up here as well. Just all of you get emergency relief, okay? I understand that um, you need money to survive, okay? Like, I, I get it. Also, you know what? We should be spending some of our uh, influence here as well. What are we going to spend it on? You know, let's just improve relations with... Uh, with our neighbors here. I see no reason not to. See if we can make them at least not hate us. We're at negative 306. Which is generating a lot of tax waste. So that's 13 point. Okay, so we are spending way too much on you. From 5 million population. From institutions across 16 incorporated states. From 4 generals. We have too many trade routes. Which is, which is an issue, because that's also costing us a lot of money. Your unproductive trade routes. Well, then get rid of all the unproductive ones. Done. That'll save us a little bit. We're, we're still at a negative 186. We're still taking a 29% penalty here. The market price is still so expensive, man. We need more tools. We need more tools. We need more furniture. We need more clothing. And what, what's your problem? Construction fishing in Rio Grande do Sul. Okay, so you, you have penalties because you're, um, uh, because you've been rebelling against us. So let's not worry about building up in Rio Grande do Sul at the moment. Because yeah, they are, they are mad. Tax waste, construction efficiency, people don't want to move there. Are you also... No, I mean, you're mad. Surprisingly, the North is not that upset. Oh, so we can incorporate you. I know we're, we're already in a deficit, so I'm not even going to worry about that too much. Is there anywhere else we need to incorporate? I mean, it doesn't seem like it. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, so we can bring, uh, start incorporating you. Our authority is also pretty bad because of all the maintenance we're doing. Let's take two of you off for now. So it looks like iron is no longer stupidly expensive in Brazil. So that, that's one, one of our many issues that I have now resolved. However, okay, never mind. The iron is back on the market at extremely high prices. But, I mean, tools are 66 pounds, man. Who, why is it so expensive? Like, we're getting our tool workshop. Expand. Automatically expand you. Automatically expand furniture and paper. And clothing. These are, I mean, we're always going to need a, a bit of this. So I think getting these to expand automatically would, it, it, I think it makes sense for us. And the coal mines in Rio Grande do Sul, we are not going to worry about those. Uh, because, <laughs> because, because they hate us down there. There's got to be a better place for me to build coal mines, right? Yeah, build like right next to them. Can we go up to like uh, a five on that? That seems fine to me. It might take a while to get done, but we have time to spare. We have spent about 400,000 pounds slowly, slowly building up the, the economy of Brazil. 
Now, by the way, if we look at our, not global GDP, if I want to look at our markets, we are just in our own market, right? Yes. I mean, it would be nice to probably bring a few countries into our market, but I don't think that's actually going to happen. Pollution impact. Not really a thing quite, quite yet. Strategic regions. State standard of living. Pretty bad in most places. Surprisingly, like, French and British Guiana. Some of the nicest places to live in the world, honestly. What about our literacy rate? What's that at? 22%, 20%. I mean, the best in the world right now is like 65%, which is which is still pretty bad. Is there anything we can do with our Navy? Naval Invasion, Deploy at Sea Node. Yeah, I mean, you can go here. And just kind of hang out. And then, Station HQ. Plan Naval Invasion. Is there anything else we can really get you to do? Intercepting. Convoy escort. Here, escort convoys. Why not? I don't think that actually does anything because we're not at war, but in the event we do end up at war with some one of our neighbors, we probably want to protect um our positions here. We're at 16. 25, Argentina's at 48. Okay, so it looks like Bolivia's gotten like shittier as we've gotten ourselves back into an okay position? I mean, 16 ain't bad. There's another election going on. Looks like the moderates are doing... Or, okay, well, they've actually changed their party names. But the conservatives are doing okay. The liberals are doing all right as well. Momentum at negative 18. Again, I don't know if we really care too much who wins, necessarily. I would like to get you to be lower. Institutions. What institutions do we actually have right now? Education, home affairs, and law enforcement. Okay, you know what? That's fair enough. I, I understand. But I will say that I think this is going to be a good time for us to end off this episode. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not doing a thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.